All right, so I just got out of the shower and I am going to get ready to start my Afro-Dree treatment. This is there's like hair all over. That's really gross, but it's sticky, so it makes sense. Okay, but this is the one I'm using right here. Oh, I can't ever turn, tell which way to turn it. The afro G, like I did the pH, you know, you want to change the balance of your hair. So a protein treatment. This is the two-step protein treatment. Um, it stops hair breakage, rebuilds hair structure for six weeks. Ideal for color treated hair, which I have. I'm slightly brown and um, or relaxed or permed hair. So yeah, so I got this at Sally's and let me think how much I spent on it. Maybe six or seven bucks, so it wasn't too bad. And especially like you get a good couple of uses out of this. The directions are on here for you, so you have that. All right, so it's important that you have freshly washed hair. So I just did that. You can use any shampoo really. Um, so I cleaned through it two times, or shampooed it twice. Yeah. So this is what I'm working with. So what you're actually gonna need for this protein treatment is of course the Afrogy treatment. You'll also need a couple of pins. Okay, so a couple of these, three or four, depending on how you want to section off your hair. And you're also going to need your handy dandy blow dryer. I'm going to section my hair into thirds, or you can do fourths, it really doesn't matter. So, my bottom third, which I'm going to do first, so I'm going to leave that out. And then. Now the good thing about this Afrogy treatment is that you only have to do it about once a month. So I did it six weeks ago, so it's a little over a month. Not gonna kill me. Now you can, it's pretty liquidy. I can't tell if you can hear that, but yeah. But um, so you can put it in a spray bottle or you can just kind of go all out with it. Here are some cons to the Afrogy treatment. It smells horrible. Well, um, Okay, it's not like the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. The lady when I checked it out was like, girl, get ready, it smells horrible. It's not that bad, but it does smell bad, but it's not something like you could really gag over. But it doesn't smell good, like I, let me warn you that much. And it is also gets very sticky. So what we're gonna do, let me turn this way. We are literally just going to put it in our hair. And my hands are going to get gross, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to hop back in the shower. I'm just going to kind of squeeze it all up in there, whatever. Now my hands are going to be like crazy sticky from doing this this way. And you just want it to be really damp. Your hair should already be damp because you just washed it in the shower. But, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to let down my second piece here. And same thing. If you guys don't like a mess, it's probably ten times easier to just... It gets kind of foamy. But um, if you don't like the mess, it's ten times easier to put in a spray bottle. But to be honest, right now, I didn't really feel like cleaning out a spray bottle because all of mine have other uses and I don't have many empty ones, so that's just kind of what my story is. Last section. Okay. So, it's all nice and wet. I'm going to try not to put, you don't want to run your fingers through your hair after you already put the protein treatment in. Since I'm not using a spray bottle, it can get really messy. So it's important that you put a towel that you don't really care about on the ground to kind of catch some of the protein treatment. Otherwise, your floor gets sticky, you have to mop it, whatever else. Too much. All right, so here is where we're gonna use our blow dryer. And we're just literally gonna blow dry our hair. We're not gonna touch our hair, finger through our hair, or anything. We're just gonna dry it. And as it dries, you're gonna notice your hair getting hard. So it's very important that you don't finger through it, you don't mess through your hair, because your hair will be very prone to breakage, okay?
I just blow dried it. And as you can kind of see, let me zoom you in just a little bit. My hair is really hard. All right. I don't want to play around in it too much, but you can I pull one thing in here, a lot comes up with it, you know? So you can tell it's all kind of together. It's hard, it's sticky, it's gross. I'm sticky, I'm gross. So as soon as your hair is dry, you're just gonna hop back in the shower, rinse it through, don't touch your hair at all, just literally just stand there and let the water rinse through your hair. And then after you've got that all done and you've rinsed all the product out of your hair, it's important to condition your hair and then later moisturize. I'm gonna hop in the shower, I'm gonna rinse through my hair, I'm gonna condition it, and then I'll hop out and I will show you what it looks like. And then I'm also gonna put a lot of other different oils and stuff to moisturize my hair. All right, so I just got out of the shower. Um, I just rinsed through my hair and um, I conditioned it. So I just put some conditioner in there, let it sit for a little bit and then rinse that back out. So this is my hair now. Um, so nothing's really in it. Um, just like on my Insta vid, I talked about how my curls were a lot tighter, which I like. Um, you know, it's kind of my natural curl. The reason I kind of tried this product to begin with is when I colored my hair, my hair was literally like shedding. So I would go in the shower and wash my hair and like, you know, just finger through it and I could literally just pull hair out and it was just not even trying to, it was just disgusting. So yeah, so I actually like it. So once a month, it doesn't hurt. Um, it gives me that nice balance between moisture and protein, which makes my hair really healthy. Um, along with the two, I will also be drinking a lot of water, taking biotin treatments, um, a lot of vegetables. Um, if you don't know already, my mom and my entire family is like health freaks, so we have a lot of different supplements and things like that. She's totally gonna make money when she sees this. But um, yeah, so I'll be taking those. So um, along with conditioning it, because you did a protein and it just hardened your hair, you want to soften it back up a little bit. It is a lot softer now. Like I mean, outside of the fact that I can just move it, um, it's soft and it's softer than it was when I first washed it, which is good. I am going to spray my hair down a little bit with this Afrogy Keratin Green Tea Reconstructor which is nice. I also got that the same day I got that, um, I got the protein treatment. It was probably another four or five bucks, but I got everything from Sally's. So this uh, strengthens instantly, rebuilds body, protects color and chemical surfaces. So I'll be spraying my hair down with this and I will be using a little bit of olive oil in my roots to just kind of moisturize those so I don't have dry, a dry scalp and moisturizing my ends because your ends are very important. So, here we go. Alright, so after you have already moisturized your hair with oil or whatever products of your choice, it's just really important that you moisturize it after um, doing the treatment. Um, you can style it as you want, um, you know, whatever you're planning on doing to your hair. But since it is nighttime, I am totally going to take my booty to sleep. And, you know, I'd probably actually like twist my hair up or something or. I don't really know how I'm planning on wearing it tomorrow anyways, but some nights I would usually braid it up or do a twist out or something if my hair is natural. Um, but since I'm going to the gym in the morning, I'm going to be hopping back in the shower anyways, so then I'll probably just do a wet style tomorrow. But yeah, I hope you guys, um, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful. 
uh, leave a comment saying what other um, hair treatments or hair information, hair tips, hair whatever that you want to see from us and we'll be sure to get to those. We have some other ones on the way like um, sealing in moisture, um, preventing dry scalp, some hair growth tips and some other things. Um, but yeah, it's really important that you have a healthy hair and an if I have to say where it all starts, it starts with drinking water. So be sure you do that. Half your body weight in ounces. Um, but I think later we'll do some like health, hair health. Yeah, hair health videos. I'm gonna have to do that soon. So um, subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Um, or if you wanna see any other hair health videos or anything like that. Um, also, yeah, uh, fastest way to keep up with us will be on Instagram, so be sure you take out your phone and do that. And um, on Instagram and Twitter, it's at Shalisavia. All right, yeah, I am totally taking my booty to sleep. It's kind of late. So, good night. <laughs>